Hi, welcome back to another Painted by Fame in association with Mac Pro. We're doing a transformation on Paris today. Uh, have you ever had a facelift tape on? No, I have not. Have you ever had your brows covered? No, I have not. Okay, so it's gonna be a drag transformation. I am very excited. But we're gonna keep it fresh in some places. It'll be the most makeup you've ever worn. Okay. And Do you wear makeup often? No. Okay, so I'm just wiping the perimeter where I'm gonna place the lift tape right here on the sides of both. Kind of below the temple. This is a facelift tape. I use them in all my tutorials. You've seen them on me. Right there. The glue right into your brow. You have a really nice brow. I'm just pressing it into the hair. It's gonna dry out that glue, which you don't want the glue to be damp. So we're gonna be using a landscape green eye pencil. So blending it out, it just really starts to make it feel a lot more cohesive. Blend, 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 and this is just the base, so we're gonna add some shadowing for depth. This is the Tropic Cool Times 9 palette. It's tiny and cute. So we're gonna be coming over to this realm. So I'm using brulee just on the high point of the brow bone. I'm going to use a paint pot and I'm going to just carve out the front of the eye so we have a proper cut crease. I'm just gonna take a bright yellow and, and press it over the defined cut crease for the new eyelid. And I'm, I'm gonna be putting glitter on this part of the eye so I'm kind of like preempting the visual. All right, I'm using strobe cream and silver light as a base for the skin. These are new and I'm very, very interested. Hyper Real Foundation. So now I'm gonna add a little face and body foundation. This is C1 mixed with white. We're using, um, this is a Pro Eye Palette. It's a cream set of products, and I'm gonna use the lightest kind of taupe shade for a contour on very fair skin. Colors can get strange, you know? They can look really orange. Um, so something that even looks like taupe can still pull up warmth, but we're just creating a little halo, a little tiny bit of shadow to cut the cheekbone. And you don't have a giant forehead, so 
we are only contouring the temple, kind of like the sides of the face, to bring it in. We don't want to shorten the forehead. So I'm using the Pro Face Palette Light Blush Set and I think I want to do a little bit of this kind of mauve shade. Luna Cream Highlight just to the top of the cheekbone. I'm using the Setting Powder by MAC. This is porcelain, and then we're going to use um, extra light. If I'm correct? Yes, I got it correct of the Fix Powder. I'm using this fabulous product right here. <laughs> And I'm using this shade right here. I think I'm gonna try this. It's gonna get strange. I'm curious. I'm gonna try it. It's definitely gonna be an interesting color. Let's try a different color over the top. I'm mixing like a straight up yellow blush with a straight up pink blush. We're adding highlighter, a soft frost across the top of the cheekbones. We're gonna work on building up this brightness throughout the skin. All right, we're gonna go under the eye with some of this real deal yellow. I know it's a color that would never, or you would probably never use unless it was for this kind of eye. Okay, this is the Diamond Crumbles and it's a Dazzle Shadow Liquid. Now we're gonna use some Black Tracks Gel Liner and a flat angle brush. Go right into that eye. We're gonna just create more depth. The liner was just to map out a shape, and now I can accentuate that outer edge. I'm going to take brush black for a little precision detailing at the front and end of the line. I like to pull a little tension at the lash line. Just gonna go on the outskirts of the lip line. and I'm gonna highlight the center of the lip. There is a little bit of the natural lip in there and I kind of like that. It's um, almost somewhat feeling unfinished, but realistically it's extremely finished. We're gonna highlight the center only. Now we're gonna really bring in this kind of alien tone. And this is Party Sparkle. The color is so, so, so pretty. It's iridescent pink. 
finding its way back to the skin in the blush and the highlight. And there's a little peachiness in there, but we always counterbalance it with kind of a cool and a warm combo. You have a good sized eye so you can carry a really big lash. Because you're so pretty, it would have been easy to make you pretty with the pretty makeup, like a simple skin and a simple lip. But this is a lot more alluring. Like, I need to recreate this look on myself. I haven't done that. Yeah, I'm jealous. How do you feel about those eyelashes? She's a star. A star is born. I'm using this again, and I used it on me, and I loved it. It's fixed pink light. It literally has pearlescent iridescent pink. It's gonna make your skin look like skin again. Even in its oh most graphic Oh my shape. god. Hold your hands on top of the tapes, and then I'm gonna try to keep you attached. Wow. You can feel that? She's theatrical. Right? <laughs> She's oh. Jocelyn Wildenstein. Ooh, yes, references. And here we are, we've come to the finale. Paris, you are the best. It was so fun creating this look for you. It was so you. fun working with you. Of course. How do you feel? I feel really glamorous and cheeky and like, a, I don't know, very pepperminty. It's a very pepperminty vibe. Mm -hmm. It's It could be a holiday a holiday look for the Christmas party. Your family Christmas. Ideal, <laughs> yes, I can totally see that. But this could even be an inspiration for Halloween mood. It could be an inspiration for an editorial shot. You can take one element you like and evolve a look from it. So I hope you found some inspiration within it. And thank you again, MacPro.